everybody it's your girl okay the problem and a bitch is back and i'm here in our filming slash game room and guess what y'all we have a lot to talk about today <sighs> so without further ado grab your wine grab your blunt and we gonna chill out because we got a lot to discuss today y'all it's just so much to talk about like i didn't get a chance to talk about megan and cardi what bro what are you talking about man all right megan and nikki i didn't get a chance to talk about anything for that matter so we have to talk about Raymonte versus cardi b um jt versus damn near everybody we have to talk about Rick Ross and Drake versus everybody. And we have to just discuss the importance of these topics because it is just so much to uncover. So without further ado, let's light up. All right, so let's get into it. First, we have Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion. So... This is a good point for me to bring up only because of what's happening this week with Drake and Rick Ross and everybody else. Huh. Nikki and Megan were having a back and forth moment about whatever the fuck this, okay? Nikki made a diss and here is everybody on the fucking internet with a selective outrage. Nikki's been going for three days. Nikki's been doing this. Nikki's been doing that. Hmm. All right, so we gonna bring up another topic. What about Rick Ross? So y'all, as y'all know, it's been a lot of the big three versus Kendrick. J. Cole apologized. It's really sad for hip hop, but he a man, a grown man, gonna do what a grown man choose to do. So we just gonna let that ride. Um, but Rick Ross been going for days. I, I haven't heard a person, one fucking person, say anything about him being old as hell, petty as fuck, and ranting for days without a real response. Stop fucking playing with these women. Same thing with JT. JT just, she does as she does on Twitter. She talk how she wants to. She say what the fuck she wants. Boom. Now, everybody's fave, Cardi, does what she wants, says what she wants. And everything is so crazy because y'all love to say, oh no, it don't have nothing to do with her. She's not an exception. She's not this, she's not that. And she's very much an exception because everybody accepts the bullshit that she does. Nikki said, line on your dead mama. But here is Cardi B telling people to dig up their dead mamas and you a roach or whatever the fuck. And nobody says shit ever. And that be to her fans. So sometimes y'all have to take a look back and think as a black person, do I let shit slide like this? Do I get shit slid like this? Like, no. And that's what the fuck Ray Monte was saying. Now, to me, people think of women and men in a separate pool. This is rap, okay? Women been battle rapping. Have y'all ever seen the movie Roxanne? Oh, and that's what happened. This has always been a thing. Rap battle has always been a thing. Like, Boosie thinks that it's going to end up in killing and da-da-da. Y'all only think about Biggie and Tupac. Y'all don't think about the real beats. Like, it was motherfucking, I like the way you do that right there. I like the way you do that right there. Right there. Right there. That was a motherfucking diss. And nobody knew. Nobody knew. See, the diss today is like, hmm? And Fresh As I Me was a diss. So... Romeo. And Romeo decided to come back. So with this whole rap beef culture and everything, it's like, 
y'all be so sensitive when it comes to women. Oh, she's too old to do this. Why is she ranting for many days at a time? But when the men do it, it's a kiki, a kiki, a cackle. Like, I'm really not understanding it. And this might be my popular opinions video because I'm really not getting it, y'all. Like, please help me understand. Please. Please. And yes, me, I am a rapper myself. And I will rap battle with a motherfucking nigga. I don't give a fuck. That's just me. Now, what I don't expect for people to do is, oh, you're a woman. You're doing this for many days and you're this old and I don't give a fuck. I'm almost 30 and I'm still going to pop my shit just like everybody do. So for people to drag out a situation for one person and not everybody else, it's a problem. Now, back on topic after this selective outrage shit. Because <laughs> that pissed me off seeing everybody just have selective outrage. It's dumb. It's really dumb and it really pisses me off because it's not fair. This world is not fair. They don't treat us women fair and y'all see why we say protect black women. Because people do stuff like this. Now, fuck the rat beef right now. Let's move on to better topics. Now, we have colorism in the industry. Raymonte and Cardi. Raymonte brought up a banging ass point. And I hate to tell y'all that. He brought up a wonderful point. Everybody's bringing Landon Romano into it. Like, he don't have a black scent. <laughs> he has a black scent. Please stop comparing Raymonte to this man. Y'all want to bring Saucy Santana into it. And yet, he still gets the same treatment. Y'all bring Sexy Red into it. Like, y'all don't look at her with disgust. That's dumb. Yes, Cardi is very successful. And she still does what the fuck she wants to do. She called people all type of bitches and hoes. Dig up y'all dead this, fuck y'all dead that. To her fans and to people that's not her fans. But people will turn a blind eye to it. Because that's how she is. She's authentic. She's known for being that way. Yes, she might have been called ghetto or whatever the fuck. But guess what? You're still doing it. And it's still getting you places. It's not getting anybody else places. Nobody else places. Cash out. Bomb ass rapper. I brought this up on my channel before I believe about Cash Dow and Cardi B. Because to me, Cash Dow should be where Cardi B at. Cash Dow is that girl. She dressed down. She can really fucking rap. Y'all might not like her voice. And, and, and that's another thing. When y'all don't like people's voice, it's like y'all don't like their music. Y'all feel like they can't rap. That's some bullshit to me. Cash Dow can fucking rap her ass off. She get love from the city. And she got paid how much a night? But this the most successful. Stop fucking playing. Love Cardi down. So, Barty Gang, if you want to try it, we can go there. But, fact is fact. Embrace it. The least she could have said was, oh, well, I know how I may betray. How about we make them see how we are? You see Sexy Red doing her thing. She make people respect her. That could have been said. But everything else, her getting offended and shit. Y'all look at that as, oh, well, oh, she's stepping on people's neck. But when other people fucking do it, it's a problem. And that's exactly what Raymonte was trying to say. It's really irritable to know how we treat our own kind. It's very, very irritable. I don't even want to talk about JT and Glorilla because this is very irrelevant. Like, Glorilla literally lied for a fucking year. Had y'all thinking she really smacked the girl, put out a song, and y'all taking a bait because she got jokes. I'm tired of the selective outrage, the selective side picking. Okay, you see two people arguing on Twitter. That's two people arguing on Twitter. Y'all be getting too beside yourself with these comments and shit. So what? That's these people's business. Let them do them. It can be a gag. <clears throat> it can be a kiki. But to do 
certain shit at certain moments is really weird to me. Let these people, you know, be people. <sighs> now, to my favorite part, which I couldn't wait to talk about. JT and Young Miami. Now, I've been waiting for this to kind of go down for a minute because I kind of felt like it was a little shade in the Carisha please. <clears throat> Carisha is never there for JT. Like she is for Santana. All of y'all Yes, y'all. Keep saying JT's always in some shit. Oh, but ain't Young Miami always saying some shit? And Saucy Santana, ain't they always in some shit? And he on messy ass, loving hip hop. Like, I'm confused. Y'all have y'all favorites, and that's okay. But don't put false ass condensations out here for people to eat up. That's annoying as fuck. And it's called popular opinion. And a lot of y'all do have that. Y'all run off with the popular opinion instead of thinking. Now, I think jealousy was not a thing. But I think sometimes people will feel a way about you. Not say it and move on. Which is why it's such a thing where people like, oh, JT is the problem. She always do this. She always do that. Y'all guess what me and JT is probably the same person because guess what all my friends do be switching up they be on the side like <gasps> not scared they be scared to fucking stand up for me which is why they're not my friends no more I don't have any people will not stand up for you they only stand up for who the fuck they want to I remember having a friend in a group chat that didn't stand up for me against five bitches and stood up for a girl that she just met a week ago over a nigga playing. Watch out for them motherfuckers. And it's the shit I be talking about. Sometimes people do what they want for who they want. And I want motherfuckers who's gonna rock for me. In my corner. That's why I loved when JT and Akbar was together. That was a real vibe. That was a real vibe. That was a real, oh, you my girl. Like, I seen you on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. That was that. Now... Me, yeah, I would have tweeted. I would have tweeted. I would have for sure, yeah. Because not you don't have the balls to say bitches be sneak dissing me, but here I am, the bitches that you think was sneak dissing you. Yeah. So, all in all, I just feel like Carisha at some point she just didn't like JT. They didn't say it like how most people do and they be scared and they be calling that shit oh we grew apart we drifted away no it was just something that they probably said you didn't like probably something that they did that you didn't like and you was too scared to address it because you're not a real ass bitch in my Ray Monte voice and, and you're just too scared to admit because you're a scared ass bitch like that I can't rock with and lastly I just really want to touch on Rick Ross y'all Rick Ross is how old and people love to call Nikki old but like ain't this the same career I'm confused like, sometimes I just be so confused why y'all pin the women against each other and let the, oh, he licking the fuck out of your bread. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> oh, he ate that shit down. Y'all, we just got two cats recently to intermission. We just got two cats and Mushu, he's a black cat. I'm gonna show some pictures right here. He just licked the fuck out of her bread, so. You gotta watch people like that. <laughs> but yeah why are y'all always trying to pin women against each other and <laughs> make it seem like women are the worst thing ever yeah 
y'all make it seem like women are the worst thing ever and it's not that y'all hate us y'all hate to see us do the same shit this whole double standard shit is killing me to an extent y'all need to cut that shit the fuck out starting to grind my gears okay now this is my little short get back i have a few more things to touch on but that'll be in a later video this saturday i will be on to gag city i can't wait to stun on you hoes okay i can't wait to eat that shit up because i really need a day out like i really do oh look y'all here's milano hey milano Y'all, this is Milano. We got them when they were four weeks. And now they're ten weeks. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, some more dishes are family. Uh, I got some more to discuss. I'm going to get City. I can't wait. And some more to come, y'all. So, I'm going to go ahead and clock out because I'm going to smoke my month. And I have some editing to do because I want you guys to see this. And I want everybody to give me their comments on everything down below. I know I probably went a little fast, but I'm sure that I touched on some things that you might have heard. So go ahead and give me your opinion. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys later. Say bye. <laughs> bye.